Hi, we're looking at the new version of the Apple TV software today, version 5.0. It was pushed out by Apple along with the announcement of the new Apple TV along with the new iPad. The new Apple TV is going to feature 1080p and is going to be available on March 16th for $99. And as you can see here, this is the new home screen and it has a reskin look and it definitely has a, more of an iOS feel to it. They've added little graphical icons for each of the apps um, versus the old text labels. And I'm just going to jump into settings for a moment. And you'll see right here as we go to about that it's version 5.0 build 4099. Um, you'll also see the resolution is 720p. Apple decided not to upgrade the resolution on the existing boxes, unfortunately. Um, the new Apple TV does get a new processor. Um, it's a scaled down version of the A5 single core. Um, from a functionality point of view, there's only been a few changes, but you can page down here and you'll see all the apps. There were no new apps added in this version of Apple TV. Two of the places where there were significant upgrades was with the movie app, and we'll select that. And you'll see there's a cover flow type interface on the top that automatically shows you featured titles, and you can browse through different movies. And the big change in here isn't just the UI, it's the fact that, like TV shows in iTunes, now you can purchase and rent movies and they stream from Apple's cloud. You don't have to download them to an iMac or a MacBook or some other device um, in your home. So one interesting thing we found, though, and you'll see this little menu pop up at the top, if you go over to the purchased um, selection, you'll see Star Trek there the rebooted Star Trek that came out a couple years ago. And the surprising thing about it was I actually bought this movie on Blu-ray and it came with a digital copy and I uploaded the digital copy to my iMac. And in the old version of the Apple TV software, um, I could use iTunes home sharing, browse to that iMac, iTunes had to be running, and I could stream the movie from um, that iMac. But one thing you'll notice in the upper right hand corner <coughs> is you'll actually notice the iCloud icon has appeared and now my iMac doesn't need to be on anymore. So basically Apple has implemented a version of um, iTunes Match for music for movies. So now my iMac could be turned off. I could stream directly from Apple's cloud and the cool thing is that um, it's in HD, it's in Dolby Digital um, good quality. Um, so that's definitely a, a nice improvement to the Apple TV software. And I'm really not going to let this play because it will be a copyright issue. So going back, the other significant upgrade uh, is in the Netflix app. And the difference here is now you can actually sign up for Netflix right from the app and you can use your iTunes account uh, to pay your monthly next Netflix bill. I'd love to show you what it looks like. Unfortunately, for some reason, Netflix will not let me, the app will not let me sign out. So uh, probably a little bug there, which I'm sure I'll get straightened out very shortly. So this is Gabe from Tech of the Hub, looking at the new Apple TV version 5 software. Thanks a lot.